brilliant performance uh, in the pool has been overshadowed by the soap opera on the pool deck. Now, the so-called love triangle tension between Kyle Chalmers, Emma and Cody Simpson. That is allegedly dividing the team and driving Chalmers to distraction. I think media don't realise, like I said on my Instagram, how much impact it actually has on athletes and mental health. Um, and for me, uh, it took all my courage and all my energy just to stand behind the blocks and swim this morning. Um, it's not something that I, that I wanted to do. Um, it's not something that I wanted to go through, to be honest with you. I've been so excited for this moment for such a long period of time and been working hard to be here for such a long time and for how it's unfolded. Um, yeah, definitely makes me, me question my future in the sport. Which is a huge statement. There's a fair bit to unpack here, Susie. I'll get to you in, in a second. Crash, what have you made of what's been going on? Well, it, it appears to me as if he likes the attention, but not the scrutiny. And, and there is a, just a fine line between them, and they often overlap. But I, I think he's one of those guys who can't live with it and can't live without it and finds it very awkward, Candice, because, you know, he, he's on Instagram, he, he's out there, he, he's happy to put himself, you know, front and centre. But like a lot of swimmers... When it's big time, when it's games time, the force of the coverage hits them hard, Candice. Yeah, and I'm really surprised. This is someone, Kyle, obviously won the 100 metre freestyle uh, at the 2016 Olympics. Um, he, he knows. He knows how to deal with the pressure. Why is he allowing the media to make these comments? Why hasn't he put a self-imposed media ban until, um, till the games are over? I'm just really a little bit confused by the whole situation and why he's engaging but, with the media. But why didn't he turn up to talk about a, a great event in the mm. pool? He'd won uh, gold medals and there was no question about that from any journalist. I mean, wh why is he in the wrong there? Well, he's not in the wrong, but he also has the power and the ability to stop it and also just to focus on his swim events. Uh, I mean... Susie, going into the Sydney Olympics, there was it's a home games. There's so much pressure on you guys. I mean, he has won an Olympic gold medal. Should he know how to deal with this kind of pressure? Should he know how to just block this out completely? Well, firstly, I'll say I think it's actually a lot harder for athletes um, these days. I think there's a lot more scrutiny, and especially with the social media, etc. And I do honestly believe the journalists are looking for different angles than they were when I was swimming. Um, in saying that as well, I know there's no rift in the team. I spent a lot of time with them at the Tokyo Olympics and they are a super, super, super close team. I think that what they're struggling with is, um, if you think about swimmers, they spend 30 or 40 hours a week trying to improve one one hundredth of a second, you know, such specific um, objective goals. So when they get asked subjective questions, not even to do with their sport, um, really like reality TV stuff, they're kind of confused and, and I think kind of get offended by that. Um, obviously, he'll need to work out some strategies moving forward, but um, I think I just want everyone to know that I know that the team is really, really close and there's no rifts and a lot of that stuff is just being made up in the newspapers, which is the frustrating part for the athletes. But would there not have been a strategy put into place before these games? I mean, we haven't just started talking about this now. We've been speaking about this love, love triangle before the Commonwealth Games. Should the Australian swimming media manager, his own manager, have put some sort of strategy into place knowing that this could have been a possibility? I suppose in retrospect, but, um, you know, athletes aren't robots. Everyone's got their own personality and likes to deal with things uh, different ways. Um, it's not how I would deal with it, obviously, but I'm not Kyle. What makes Kyle a good swimmer is also what makes him quite um, where he's hard on his sleeve and, and quite fiery. So I can understand why he did uh, fire up, to be perfectly honest. And the other thing I think that um, it's hard to get used to, and I remember I really struggled with this too, um, is when you go to a, a Commonwealth Games or uh, an Olympic Games, you're confronted by journalists that you're not kind of used to, um, you know, that aren't in the sport all the time. And so, you, I mean, I've said some really bad things over my career, um, not knowing what to say. So I think we've got to cut him a bit of slack. Um, he doesn't want to talk about it. I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sick of hearing about it. Um, I'd prefer to talk about Emma McKeon um, winning 12 gold medals, to be perfectly honest. Susan, that probably leans to the fact around some of the younger athletes that are looking up to these, these leaders. So do you think that, that Swimming Australia in the background would be having, or an Emma McKeon, for example, would be having conversations with these, that, these athletes that are representing the country for their first time just to keep them, you know, exactly where they need to be in that space of wanting to compete at their very best, win gold if it, if it falls their way and not get caught up in, in what is happening on the outside? 
Yeah, well, that's probably the best way to go about it. And um, concentrate on your swimming first and foremost. Do what you need to do um, to perform well at your, at your swimming. So if that is being on social media and, look at, and looking at it and that helps you perform, then do that. If it helps you to read your articles, do that. But if it doesn't help you to perform, then probably don't do that in the future. Um, and everyone's kind of... Um, Everyone's different with how they deal with it. But um, swimmers are kind of really individual. I think there'll be some directives probably that come down from the head coach, Rowan Taylor, who was amazing at getting the team spirit and the team camaraderie among this team. But at the end of the day, I think each individual swimmer has to decide for themselves how they want to... Um, uh, their strategies going forward. Big Susie, question. Go on. Sorry. Your, your career was incredibly drama-free, wasn't it? You, you swam and you, you just found a little space off the, off the, <laughs> away from the pool where you could go to. How did you manage that? Like, what would you, wh how could you manage what Cole can't manage at the moment? Like, where was your little private space that you got to? <laughs> Well, I was very, very boring crash, you know that. <laughs> There's nothing much that happened. I mean, I'm, it's my birthday today. I'm about to have a massive midlife crisis, so you might read about me. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it is definitely a lot harder for athletes now and for our kids. Like, I see my kids dealing with, you know, social media and the 24-hour news cycle, um, even just with their friends and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Life is happening really quickly. Um, but Kyle moving forward, I'm not sure what he should do. He, 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 he is that alpha male. He, he, he um, lives for that stuff, doesn't he, as you said. So it's going to be a fine balance for him of what's going to make him swim well going forward. Do you think his heart's broken? I mean, that's the big question, isn't it? <laughs> I think maybe <laughs> no, his I ego. Don't. <laughs> <He's> broken. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but great point. You, 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 you know, we're joking about it, but, but that's right. There is, you know, a, a love triangle there and did split up with a girl. She is with another guy. Most men find that a very fragile time in their life. Especially him being, you know, the alpha. They call themselves the alpha males or team alpha. I mean, his ego would be, would be burnt a little bit. Yeah, and he's yeah. a pop star. 